Yo, what up, guys? It's Sun TJ here to review Dragon Ball Super episode. I always forget the number. Episode 18. Now the episode starts off with Goku traveling with Whis, and he has to um, <laughs> he has to pee, but Whis says he'll take him back home if he doesn't shut up. Practically, then they finally get there, and we finally get confirmation that Whis is a god. Because no one knew Whis was a god yet, and because the Oracle Fish says that um, Vegeta can finally sense God Key, so that makes Whis a god. So that's confirmed. Whis is a god. God of what? I don't know. So Goku shows up, and he's shocked to see how powerful Vegeta is. And here we go, the Vegeta fanboys. I can already see it. Goku says this all the time to people that are near his power level. You might be stronger than me. This not automatically confirms that Vegeta's stronger than Goku. Okay, he says that you're so powerful, you might even be more powerful. That when he says might, he um, when he told Gohan that you're stronger than me, he meant it because he said you're stronger than me. He didn't say might. Okay, so they're on equal terms. Okay, now doesn't make Vegeta stronger because it's gonna be an argument that the Vegeta fans are gonna hold nonstop. And I'm a Vegeta fan, but huh. anyway, so uh, so Wiz tells Vegeta to take over and. Vegeta goes, um, helps Goku, uh, they have to, they're doing house chores, practically. And the first house chore is to change the sheets for Beerus. And there's a lot of funny stuff that happens there. Vegeta, you know, Vegeta's telling Goku, like, to, uh, to stop being an imbecile. And, and Goku's still doing dumb stuff as usual. Uh, then we transfer to, um, them just doing a bunch of chores. Then they go to, them, they start cutting grass. And when, once Vegeta says that they start training after they do the chores, Goku gets excited. And they both start racing to finish the, uh, finish the um, cutting the grass, but they finish as a finish as a tie. Something's going on with my nose. Then Wiz shows up, telling him now it's time to train. Then, um, but before that, Wiz says that since Bulma gave Vegeta his new clothes, that he's going to give Goku his new dogi, because that's what it says in the subtitles I read. So it's dogi. And that's what that's his resur resurrection F Dogi, and that's my I think that's my second or third favorite Goku Dogi that he ever worn. And it's really cool. So the training, the first um, the training is that they lift these um, these weights, these heavy weights. They don't tell you how heavy the weights are, which I really want to know. But um, uh, Whis gives um, both of them weights. Um, he, Whis tells Vegeta that these are double the weights that he used before. So both of them are using equal amount of weights okay it doesn't mean that vegeta has twice the weight that goku has that means that these are twice the weight vegeta trained with before so they both have twice the weight that vegeta trained with and when well, wish starts um i don't know what was really happening really just that the the platforms are depleting and that if they fall into it they'll be warped into another um universe and they're both racing they're both pretty tied up they're going like they're tying up really in the speed factor but then the oracle fish tells them that he, we're running out of time, and he, um, I guess, uh, Wiss warps them to where Beerus is, and Beerus, like, get, I mean, he has, like, a, he's having a bad dream about food, and he blasts both of them, and they both survive, and Oracle Fish says, are you trying to kill them, and, and Wiss says, no, he's not, and Goku's complaining about doing house chores, and etc., but Vegeta is about to say that, I'm gonna wake you up at, like, 6 a.m. or something, but Goku's asleep, and, um, Oracle Fish and Wiss start talking about, you know, the Saiyans, etc. And Wiz says, this is very important, that uh, that Goku and Vegeta need to train their base forms so they can become more powerful. And that is true because the Super Saiyan is 50 times um, fifty times power in your base form. And the, it makes sense not to train the multiplier, but to train your base form so the multiplier can be more effective. And because they're both in their same Beyond God form. But which, that's, that's annoying to me. Is Vegeta gonna skip another form? Like, is Vegeta like is he gonna gain because he can sense God Key? Because, because people don't understand, Goku can't sense God Key too. Okay, because he both them because Wiz just said that to be at this level, they're both at the level of sensing God Key now. Vegeta has just recently reached that level, so that means Goku was, um, was above him until this point, and so they can both sense God Key. So. Did Vegeta reach same be uh, same beyond God level through training? I think he did. So he just skipped Super Saiyan God then, because he didn't go to Earth to turn Super Saiyan God. So I guess he reached Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan just off training, I guess. Which is kind of weird to be honest. But anyway, um, the next day they're they um the 
they, for the first time, Vegeta's going to fight Whis with Goku. Because Goku asks, did you ever fight Whis before? He says, no, this is the first time. And Whis says that, um, that um, well, Goku says, so that means that you finally reached a level to fight Whis. And um, Whis confirms that, confirms that, but he also says Goku has just reached a level as well. So that means that Vegeta just recently reached Saiyan Beyond God level, you know, the app form. So they both, you know, come at him. Vegeta knocks Goku away. Goku knocks Vegeta away. And um, Whis says that they're both thinking too much and they need to start focusing on actually, like, they need to, they need to fight without thinking. And he also says that Beerus has this problem as well, but he's a master of it. Then another thing from Resurrection F, he, um, <laughs> he, uh, he steps on Pooh, and that was a funny little joke there. Then we transfer into space where we see some real resurre Resurrection of F stuff. We see Sorbet, Togoma, uh, what's that guy's name? You know, Red Devil Dude, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. But he, he's the one that, I can't, I'm not going to say spoilers on there. But, um, you know, they're confirmed that they need, uh, their army is weakening, they need to revive Frieza. But then a, a energy beam, like a, a, well, like a meteor type thing knocks the ship over. Then we finally get introduced to Vados and Champa, and these characters have already been introduced in the manga, but this is the first time they've been introduced in the anime. And, um, wow, Champa has a really deep voice. <laughs> but, um, they blow up a planet saying that they, they're off the mark, and that's the, uh, that's the episode. So, overall, I'll give the episode, it was funny, and I, and the animation was pretty good. So, I'll give the episode an 8 out of 10 great. Um, also, before I leave, sorry if I've been pausing a lot. It's just a lot. It's hard to remember an entire episode and give a good, uh, full detailed, uh, like, you know, full detailed analyst of it because I don't want to miss anything. But uh, I will be live streaming at 8 o'clock Central, um, either 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock because it's going to take me a while to get the Call of Duty game if I do get the Call of Duty game. But over that, please stop by, ask any questions you want. But that's it for me. Sun TJ out. Peace.